DeCastro's there this morning is showing off this wonderful jewel in our city. Hi, Bob. It, it, it really is a jewel and kind of off the beaten path on Central Avenue in downtown L.A. And it is a busy street, so cars are literally just whizzing past it as they go to and from the 10 freeway. But there are volunteer docents and curators that are preserving this for eternity because it really has so many powerful stories to tell. A stroll through fire station number 30 on Central Avenue is like taking a step into a sacred time capsule filled with relics of the past. From antique horse-drawn fire carts to one of the first fire poles to firefighter uniforms of old to pictures of some of the first firefighters of color to serve the city of angels. It is now the African-American Firefighter Museum. You can have your private conversations with the past in a sense and just look at the men and the women that have served before you and paved the way. They made the road a little bit easier for us to come down, those who came after them. Opened in 1913, the historic fire station served as one of two segregated fire stations in L.A. between 1924 and 1955. Though for many years after, integration looked a lot like segregation for black firefighters. The countless stories of their struggles are preserved by the museum's volunteer staff and board of directors, including its president, firefighter paramedic Michelle Banks. They were not allowed to eat with the other firefighters. Things were thrown at them, foul language, people put filth in their pillows. They were so shown that they were not welcome. And to their credit, they continued with this process because they believed that their individual and collective action could advance society. The museum celebrates the remarkable achievements of black firefighters and is committed to an ongoing mission to promote diversity and to stand up to inequality. We want the city of Los Angeles to be their fire service to be the best in, in the country. We want to be the most diverse and respected uh, organization on the planet. Gerald Durant is president of the L.A. City Stentorians. The group works with the museum to recruit, retain, and promote people of color in the fire department. Aspiring firefighters are often encouraged to participate in other types of public service. And that good firefighter is not just a good firefighter. He's a good neighbor, a good friend, a good parent, somebody that is willing to always give back, always willing to pay forward. What was once an ugly symbol of the past now stands a symbol of a proud and hopeful future. When you walk out of our space, I hope that you're inspired to connect with people across communities and generations and use your voice to engage in that process to improve it. Now, the museum runs entirely on donations and volunteers. The board really wants to expand the museum's outreach, its programs, and its hours. I'm going to give you the website on your screen there. It's aaffmuseum.org. And, Michaela, it is closed right now because of the pandemic, but, you know, they're just really eager to reopen their, its doors and, again, expand those hours eventually so that more people can enjoy and learn about the rich history of this museum and the fire department. <laughs>